Chapter 3085 Infuriating Provocation Long Chen As soon as Long Chen entered, he heard a startled cry from the other side. Boom! Following that, the earth lit up with runes. Giant wall soared out and enveloped Long Chen. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you will go no further in this competition. That person laughed, and the earth walls began to fold in, forming layers and layers. Suddenly, that person spat out a mouthful of blood. His hands turned scarlet, and he slammed them on the earth. Dense blood runes covered the earth and walls. The entire martial stage was sealed shut. Who cares about the champion of the Tao discussion convention? You cut us off from our profits. You'll be able to leave today, but tomorrow your corpse will appear in the wilderness. That person smiled sinisterly. His bloodline power was gushing out, strengthening the earth and walls. This person's talent was decent, but he could only count as above average amongst the competitors. Even so, he had used self-damaging secret arts, sacrificing his own essence blood to use a forbidden technique. Even a top expert wouldn't be able to break free in a short time. He was one of those chess pieces that Luo Shua had mentioned who specialized in delaying people until they were eliminated. As soon as he saw Long Chen, he thought of how to delay Long Chen until the time was up. These people were specially raised chess pieces. If he could delay Long Chen until he was eliminated, he would have contributed huge merit and be given a shocking reward. It had to be known that Long Chen was a thorn in the side of certain people. Whoever could kick him out would gain both fame and fortune. So that person immediately sacrificed his own essence blood just to stall Long Chen. Ha ha ha, that person seemed to already be able to see immense fortune falling into his hands and he laughed, feeling extremely pleased. What's so funny? Why don't you tell me so that I can share in your delight? A hand patted him on the shoulder. Shocked. That person turned around to see Long Chen smiling at him. At some point, Long Chen had escaped from his prison, and he hadn't noticed at all. You. He was only able to spit out a single word. Bang. His body suddenly exploded, transforming into blood mist. Long Chen seemed to have long since expected this to happen and had already dodged to the side. Foolish child. You didn't realize just how dangerous forbidden arts were. You can't get distracted, or if you lose control, your body can explode. Long Chen was sent out. At that time, everyone else was back as well. Seeing him return, Luo Bing and the other side with relief. They had thought that he had encountered some terrifying opponent. Was your opponent very strong? Asked Bei Shishi curiously. No. It was one of those troublemakers that Miss Luo Shua mentioned. It was a rare chance. So I wanted to see what he would do before killing him, said Long Chen. So that was what had happened. They were also curious as to that person's abilities. So Long Chen gave a simple explanation. How vicious. Sacrificing such a huge amount of essence blood would take at least three years to recover from. Their talent isn't that great. They're like death warriors that their sects raised. If they do manage to do their job, their sects will set them up to live comfortably for the rest of their life. They can simply entrust their hopes to their children, said Lu Mingxuan. She seemed to have a greater understanding of these people. Let me warn you, if you can beat your opponent in one move, don't use a second move. It would be alright if you could kill your opponent, but if you couldn't, your moves would be transmitted to everyone. Some people will immediately send out reports about the people that defeated them, including their attributes, fighting style, strengths, and weaknesses. They'll sell it for a high price. In such a high pace knockout competition, does that information have any use? Asked one of the experts from the Battle God Palace. Of course it does. They won't do it right now. They'll wait until the preliminaries are over to sell the information on those that make it through. If you do get through, there will definitely be someone selling information on you, especially for experts like Long Chen, Shishi, and young master Changchuan. Just think, 
if every one of your opponents survives and sells a bit of information on your fighting style, when the real challenge comes, won't you be seen through by your opponent, said Lu Mingxuan. That person stared at her for a moment before bitterly smiling. It seems that I was worried about nothing. I actually thought that other people would record things about me. That person drew out quite a bit of laughter from the Battle God Palace's experts. People like them weren't worth other people recording. Just now, I exchanged over 30 blows with my opponent before narrowly beating him. As the knockout stage continues, the experts will only get stronger. The chances of managing to eke out a victory through luck will drop, said another expert of the Battle God Palace. That's right. My first opponent wasn't very powerful, but the second one was already difficult. I don't know how many more rounds I'll last, sighed another. Those who could come here were all experts, but only after arriving here did they find just how small they were. Don't worry, we have Long Chen. When he gets hard, he can lift up the heavens, comforted Lu Mingxuan. But this comforting sounded extremely odd in other people's ears. Can you talk a bit more cleanly? asked Long Chen. Perhaps these words might not sound bad in other people's mouths, but when they came out of Lu Mingxuan's mouth, they always sounded off. I was once very pure, said Lu Mingxuan. You were once pure, asked Long Chen in disbelief. Yes, a long time ago, I still thought that the chrysanthemum was just a flower, sighed Lu Mingxuan. One. Long Chen rolled his eyes, while Luo Bing and the others clearly didn't understand what she was saying, but they all knew that nothing good came from this dirty girl's mouth. The next lots were drawn, and the third knockout round soon started. Long Chen's opponent was a woman this time, not waiting for her to make a move. He directly used lightning steps to appear behind her and knocked her out, once more winning. This time, he returned first. Then it was Bei Shishi, Bei Ziaol, Young Master Changchun, and the others. Bei Ziaol's spatial energy made it so that his opponent didn't even see him before he knocked them out. It was practically cheating. Lu Mingxuan, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Luo Xue, Luo Qing, Mu Qingyan, and the others all returned one after another. Then it was the experts of the Battle God Palace. Just then. One of them returned and collapsed to the ground. He was already dead, and a dagger was stuck in his head with the immortal character of Chu carved into it. Chu family. Everyone was enraged. 1. Chrysanthemum is a slang for anus? 